Hello, in this video I'd like to show you different ways of loading images into your program. Actually, everything you need is located in the image acquisition category in the toolbox. Let's start by loading images from files on disk. You can enumerate a whole directory of images, load a single image, or a series of frames from a video file. I will choose enumerate images here. We need to specify the path to a directory which contains images. You can also set some other properties here, like image formats, or if the enumeration should work in an endless loop. When I run the program, I can go through all of the images in the chosen directory. There is also a nice and easy way to add a filter to the program by dragging your media file directly to the program editor. I've just added an image, but you can also do it for videos or directories. If you wish to grab some images from a camera, you can simply use your web camera for that. Just add the web camera grab image filter to the program. If you have more than one web camera connected, you will need to specify which one you want to use. I only have one camera at the moment, so I don't need to do that. I can simply run the program and see the images being grabbed continuously. To work with industrial cameras, you can use GigiVision or Genicam grab image filters for devices which support the standards. You can also use native camera drivers if you have an NET camera or a camera from other supported vendors. These topics, however, will be covered in other video tutorials.